Hello everyone, my name is Tommy. Welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Last time we entered the hole. This time we're going to go deeper in the hole. Nimona appears to be stuck over there. I don't know what happened to her. Um, Lork, if you would be so kind to of disable the first lock on the lab using the central panel. Why am I doing it? Don't we have a hacker to do that? What a dumb motherfucker. Okay, we got some Pichu for... Is that it? That's, that's all we did in here? Nothing else is needed to be in here. I guess the bed. Well, there's lore. Man, I gotta get there first. Why aren't these activated? God damn. Oh, it's the second research station. Did you know it was the second? I do. I didn't need you to tell me. What the fuck is that thing? <laughs> hey, look, a deli bird. It's good to see a nice familiar Pokemon down here. Buddy, that ain't a deli bird. <laughs> That's a robot. D. My name's Deez. All right, we got a robot pelican. So is this a new Pokemon or is this a variant of a uh, deli bird? All right, uh, here we have an iron, it's iron bundle. So is this a new Pokemon? I'm gonna assume it is. No, I can't even catch it. Play rough with the dude. Hit him with the Quan. Fine, I don't even wanna play rough, whatever. They walked that far and built a whole ass another building. Why? I suppose the time has come for an explanation. The Zero Lab, it summons the future Pokemon to this place. Oh, do you mean you can actually travel to and from the future? No, that's not what he said. Pay attention. He said he can summon Pokemon from the future. He can't go to the future. It is theoretically possible to travel to the future. Yo, are we going to time travel in this game? If possible, I'd like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It'd be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation yourself. He's a robot. I think you should be the one to carry it. Don't give me the book. Don't give me, he gave me the book. I got the violet book. Okay, I'll take care of it by never using it. Let me read some lore. At last, paradise will be ours to create. Oh no, is he the bad guy? Is the professor the bad guy? Oh look, station three. All right, another research station. Wow. All right, so now I'm fighting with Arvin. So I fought with everyone so far. Whoa, you avoided your ass. Avoid this one, Chuckle Nut. Yeah, disable the fucking thing. All right, we got one more. We're only 20 minutes in. I've just been disabling locks. 20 minutes this episode. Been pressing buttons. Hey, wait, what are you doing? What the fuck is this? Oh my God, it's a robot version of the Iron Juggalus. Yeah, I mean, if you say so. If you say so. Whatever you say. Paradox Pokemon. Oh, it's possible that Iron Juggalus is an object described in an old book. It may actually be a Pokemon. Great. Oh, they're different Pokemon. Okay. One last gate. One last gate. Let me be free. There it is. Very far down there. God damn it. Oh, I'm just going to walk right into it. Whoa, there's no more fighting dudes. It's just right on in. I guess there's only four of us and you know, what the hell happened in here? We need more. I need more people, more time. That woman walked out not long ago after the boy was born. You know, a set of hands, but could they be trusted? How long would it take them to even understand? If only there are two of me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Time out. My new assistant has intellect and technical skills to rival my own. A bit rigid at times, but I have no serious complaints. Productivity is doubled. He even brought a second myriad on via the machine, though this one has proved aggressive. The locks have been disabled at last. Please make your way to the down of the zero lab, which lies at the bottom of area zero. If he says so, we're going to be fucking murdered. You know what this music's reminding me of? It's reminding me of the sanctuary from the Minish Cap, where you put the sword in to make it into the four sword. It's like that music. And now I really want to play the Minish Cap again. I guess I'm as ready as I was ever going to get. Let's get this party fucking started. Open the gate to the zero lab. Yes. That sounds bad. That doesn't sound good. Oh, we're going to have to watch. Look at that fucking frame rate. Oh, so Myriadon's going to be versing Myriadon while we stop robots from rushing out. Oh, hello. Holy shit, he's pissed. And the final door's open. We need to do something now. Oh, not be fucked off. All right, well, that's fine. Hey, what is that guy? Oh my god, they're here. God, he looks so cool. Look at that guy. He's awesome. All right, see you guys later. We'll never talk to you again. It was also pointless to bring you here because Penny didn't do anything. Let's go, baby. 
What's inside of the Zero Lab? This looks like I'm about to die. Hey, Arturo. What the fuck happened? Looks bad in here. Human presence detected within the Zero Lab. Are you dead, perhaps? No, nah, you ain't dead. The Pokemon wouldn't do that. Deactivating sleep mode. Okay, he's a robot. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm an artificial intelligence browser created imbued in with his memories and knowledge. In short, I'm an AI-powered robot. The real professor passed away during the incident that destroyed research station number four. Oh. You've become a formidable trainer. Now use that strength that you've gained to destroy the dream Turo once cherished. Oh, okay. If you say so. Do, 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 do. Holy shit. What are we in? One of the most coolest rooms in any Pokemon game ever. This room goes hard. Behold! The time machine which we perfected using the power of terrestrial phenomenon. We're fucking with time travel now in the Pokemon series? If you place that violet book upon the pedestal here, you will be able to stop the time machine. Why? Why would you need a... Why? Hold on. There's just one issue. If you try to stop the machine, I will most likely attack you. What? What? Time out! Hold on. So you want me to destroy the book by activating it, which first of all, just doesn't make sense. Second off, after doing that, you're going to attack me? ID confirmed. Professor Turo, initiating emergency shutdown. Access denied. Wait, what do you mean access denied? I did the whole thing. Shutdown command overridden. Reinstallation. Oh, hey, Toro. Uh, it's up to you now, Lork. AI Toro switching to sleep mode. Activating offensive protocols. Oh. You really did activate some protocol, huh? Please defeat me. Yo, this shit would be so fucking poppin' if there was voice acting. Unfortunately, the game... Holy fuck! At... At last. At last, my dream is within reach. And you're not getting in the way. Look how fucking cool this would be if there was at voice acting, man. This would be such a fucking fire scene! But no! Pokemon can't afford that. The fucking number one thing in the universe. The most selling notified fucking piece of merchandise known to man. What the hell is that thing? That's a moth! Iron moth is probably steel and fire, right? Okay, let's try stopping Tantrum. I think it's not going to affect it at all. Oh, it knows lightning moves. That's what I thought it was going to know. Of course it knows lightning moves. Ah! Yeah, baby! Hey, Iron Hands. That's the fighting type, right? All right, we got to think this through. We got to think strong. All right, um... Oh, I already fought him, so I... Earth Power is super effective! Theoretically, this should kill him as long as I move first. Oh, thank God. All right, Iron Hands is down. Isn't that the Deli Bird? Is that ice? It's got to be ice, right? Giga Drain! Giga Drain! No! No! Okay, that's not good. Oh shit, we fought him before! It's showing the effective! Super effective on fighting! Don't you fucking... Did you just make it snow? Buddy. Why? Yes! Alright, all right, all right. we got him down, we got him down, we got him down. Iron Thorns would be a grass type, right? Alright, we're gonna play it safe and just wait. Because I don't want to waste Igneal yet. I want to save him for like last, last case scenario. That is not a grass type! What the fuck is that? Okay, all right, okay. Uh, all right, so based on the previous knowledge, fighting should be good against it, right? Fuck it, dig. I'm hiding. Earthquake! Ah, fuck it, stomping tantrum. Oh, he's slower. Oh, Bozo, you big fuck! How'd you avoid that? And then he's throwing a fit. Absolute unit! We can survive this, we can survive this. Oh, we fucking barely survived it! All right, whoever they send out, I'm going to have to handle on my own. All right, so the only one I think we haven't seen is Iron Treads, right? Iron Valiant. That's not Treads. Igneal, you're going out. Fuck it. I'm going to Terra Crystallize you. Hopefully, he can't Terra Crystallize a robot, but I have a feeling he might Terra Crystallize a robot. Igneal, what's up? We got this. Everything is proceeding with exceptions. I'm afraid of the probability of you winning is zero. Oh my god. It's like a combination of uh, Glade and the other one. Okay, fuck it. You want a ball, buddy? We'll ball. Burn this fucker to the ground. Let's win this battle. It is a fight of the century. Yay! 
Daniel's a fucking G! Fire, fire was the right call, baby! Oh shit, bitch! Bring that shit back down. I'm ending this fucking timeline right here and now. An obstacle is preventing the time machine from performing as intended. Activating par Paradise Protection Protocol to remove the offensive obstacle. Was keeping the time machine running truly all the professor cared about? Locking all Pokeballs, exception with the with those registered to Toro's ID. Wait, what? Programming initialization, gathering to stereo crystal. I'm sorry, children. This is too much for you. You must run. Holy shit, this is whack. What's about to happen? You are not getting in my way. You're challenged by AI Turo. You're challenged by the Paradise Protection Protocol, the Triple P. Oh, good, it's Myriadon. <laughs> All right, Emma. Why would I throw? It's locked. Yeah, he, you heard it. Why would I throw that? But it's only locked to AI of these guys. Yeah, because Turo owned this one. Myriadon, it's kind of only you. It's on, motherfucker. In a 1v1 duel of the same Pokemon. So that way there's no type advantage or anything. I can't help but notice that Miridon is not doing a whole lot. I'm much more a fan of the previous battle against Toro. I don't really like this Miridon v Miridon battle. This battle blows. I hate these battles where they're like, you're guaranteed to win. You can't lose. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, what the fuck, dude? Marvin Miridon, Lork. It is a little sad, but I'm afraid this is goodbye. Oh, we get a whole ass cutscene. Farewell, my free adventurers. I bid you adieu. Wow, that's a fucking right bummer. He took the book! That's mine, asshole! I guess Myriadon is sad too. What a fuck? Hold on! Stop! Stop! Cut the music! What the fuck is happening right now? I just watched a dude who's an AI replace a dead kid's dad, get traveled to the future, and then the kid said some fucking deep shit like, while wearing his face, using his voice, this is a kid's game! This is not, what the fuck is happening right now? Buddy, I'm blown away. I'm scared. Imagine if they put time and quality into the game with this storyline and they put voice acting into it and shit. The game wasn't a complete dog shit game. A PG could work. This storyline would thrive in such a fucking good game. This game's great. Pokemon Violet Scarlet, great Pokemon game, but only because of the storyline. Everything else fucking sucks about it, all right? I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna tell you my opinion before the end of the game. It fucking sucks, but the storyline is so great, it makes this game worth it to buy. Should you buy both of them like a Pokemon fan would? No, you can just play whatever one you want. I, it doesn't matter, I don't think. But man, this game got so deep for a game made for kids. Wow, guys. Did you guys know that the treasure we found along the way was the friends and happiness we made? I fucking hate this. <laughs> this sucks. Is that the end of the game? Did we beat it? Did I beat Pokemon Scarlet and... What the fuck? There's not even a scene with Director Cavill where it's like, you found the treasure, the treasure, it's friendship. It's just credits. What the fuck is this? We can avoid, we can afford a whole ass song for the outro, but we can't afford voice acting for the seven cutscenes that are in this game. Hey, we did it. Thank you, treasured friends. Is that the end screen? Oh, there's the end screen. That's a lot more better of an end screen than I'm putting in my fucking photograph. Yeah, it was pretty rough when I found out my dad had died. It's not a, that's not a sentence I wanted to read in a Pokemon game. No, please don't make me do a battle contest. Oh no, we're doing a battle contest. So I get to revisit the fucking people and fight them again? Battle against Tulip, the gym leader. I gotta do it again? Alright everyone, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed the finale of this game because we did beat the game. However, there's still more to do. As in the next episode, apparently we're going to do a gym battle rush. I'm going to try and do all eight gym battles in one episode in the next episode. But also getting all the stakes to unlock the shrines that hold the ancient Pokemon. Then in the next episode, we might catch the three ancient Pokemon and fight eight battles at once. And apparently there might be an episode after that that involves apparently this whole battle thing. Because now... 
I gotta fight the teachers and students in a battle contest or something. I don't really know. It's after I fight all the gym leaders. Again. So thank you for watching this episode, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!